In this video, we are going to see how we can read SQL database using C Sharp, and we are going to use WPF Databricks to show it. Here's our database, and this is the table we are going to use. Let's see uh, how it looks like. So as you can see, the data it contains is very simple, just ID, name, and surname. Uh, let's go ahead and create our WPF application. Let's name it SQL example. Okay, so now the first thing is we need to do is uh, we are going to install the Microsoft Entity Framework Core SQL Server NuGet package. Let, let's find it. Microsoft. Here's the package. SQL Server. Let's install the latest version. Okay, now let's create our person class, which is uh, going to serve us uh, to represent our entity. Add new item. Let's name it person. And as we've already seen, we need we need person to have an ID, name, and surname. So let's create it. So surname. Okay. The next thing is uh, we need to create our data context. data context so it needs to derive from db context sorry db context yes db context now we want to override the on configuring method what we are going to do instead of calling on configuring based on configuring we will call options builder use sql server and here we need to give the connection string now let's see how it's going to look like so it is going to be data source equals to because we are using the local database it is going to be the local host so our initial catalog is the, the master uh, and then integrated security equals to true, encrypt equals to false and trust server certificate equals to false. So depending your, on your environment, uh, things might be a little bit different but this is a very common uh, connection string you might have. Also, one thing is very important to mention is that in order to be able to connect uh, to a database here in connections, you need to have this checkbox checked, but by default it, it is not. So this allow remote connections to the server need, needs to be checked. Okay. Uh, so it seems like uh, okay there's one thing is missing or db set so we're gonna have db set person persons okay so now what we need to have here is so as we mentioned we are going to uh, represent the data in data grid so let's just have a data grid here 
Um, yeah, I don't know why why it does this automatically. I don't need it. Okay, so let's just name it my data grid. Okay. Um, so what I will need to do is here I'm going to create my data context and then I can simply say my data grid data context so let's say item source equals to context um, persons to list let's see if it will work Yeah, everything worked as expected. So yeah, as you can see, that was very simple. 